Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we are taking a second look at the Rhine Metal Erlikant Sky Shield system. A week ago we recorded this video, Sky Shield versus Sea Ram versus Geppert, trying to find out which was the best point defense gun. Very simply, we put an example of each at an airfield and we chucked at each in turn 10 Shahed drones to determine how many each gun can shoot down. Now, from memory, Gepard without a head programmable ammunition shot down three, maybe four C RAM, I think it was five, and Sky Shield shot down nine out of ten. And the only reason it wasn't ten out of ten, I believe, is because it ran out of ammo. Unfortunately, it doesn't carry a huge amount of ammo. And you guys seem to enjoy that, but I read your comments and two main complaints shined through. The first was that you wanted to see the aggressors being something a bit more dangerous. Rather than 100 mile an hour drones, you want four 500 mile an hour cruise missiles, so we'll do that. I don't think there's any point of doing ballistic missiles, I think that's going to be a bit out of our scope, but we'll do cruise missiles. The second complaint was that we didn't really use it properly, quote unquote, because you guys say that in real life Sky Shield batteries don't just have one gun system like you see here on your screen, they usually have at least three three or four per battery so you'd have a radar unit in the middle with without a command and control system with three or four gun units attached so that's what we're going to do today and you wanted me to do a scenario where we could really test and show off the usefulness of the modularity of having multiple guns per battery so that's what i've tried to do today guys in today's scenario we are protecting camp bastion here in afghanistan attacking it today will be cruise missiles fired from tens of miles away by bombers those cruise missiles are going to be worst case scenario instead of coming in along the same vector they're all going to come in at exactly the same time or as close as i can get them from four different quadrants four different angles making them much harder to defend against in terms of our sky guard system we're going to have five modules in the center we're going to have our search and track radar here which is going to search omnidirectionally for targets data link that far information to the four gun modules that we have which are split in the quadrants here 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 and here and then each of those guns is going to defend their quadrant so that one's facing that way 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 so that said they can overlap if just say one target comes in along here they can all target that single target but if like we're going to see today we've got a multi quadrant or a multi vector attack then they're just going to control their main quadrants okay so that gets the ethos of what i'm trying to show today the use of a full system in defending a multi vector attack now before we do sky shield it's always best to have a control the control is going to be a cram a centurion cram and i believe these were on station in camp bastion defending it well maybe Maybe not against cruise missiles, but against uh, more localized rockets, against mortars and whatnot. So first we'll run the test with a CRAM just to see how that does. Identify any weak spots and then we'll swap it out for Skyguard. First we'll just start with one cruise missile just to test that and then we'll move on to more. So our bomber is going to release our single test cruise missile. Which is going to fly between 400 and 500 knots and give us a nasty target to shoot down. In the middle of Camp Bastion is our single Centurion, which is going to have to cover all angles on itself. That said, there's no reason why it shouldn't be able to shoot down a cruise missile. It is rated for that target. And speed up now. We've got a long way to go. In terms of rough range ring, we can see this here shows about 3 miles, which is about the range of the Sky Guard. A Centurion, I believe it's just slightly less than 2 miles. Missile on its terminal dive in now. Let's see how he deals with it. I'm not actually sure which direction it's coming from, so there we go. And I've got a pretty much no chance of actually seeing it in the sky either, so we're just going to have to follow the traces. Oh, ho, ho, I just got it! He just got it before it hit the ground. I mean, to be honest, I'm not sure that really counts as stopping it because it was about 50 feet above the ground and it's pretty much going to carry on after that hit and destroy. But anyway, it did officially take it out. Um, what I will do next is put in the other 
three bombers and have a four quadrant attack at the same time and see how it deals with that. So macro view, speed it up, send the missiles in. I've asked the missiles to be perfectly time on target, but because of the way it models them, it models them to have different variations. They change their speed depending on the type of terrain they're going over and stuff like that. So they're not going to arrive perfectly, but it should be close enough to give us a real challenge. So in it comes now. Slowing down, checking one of them, definitely in terminal phase, and Centurion. What are you going to make of this? Keep bopping between here and 3D mode, we get to see, right. So that will be the one that's just slightly ahead, presumably. Quickly in here, quickly back. Two rounds, that won't help. Got it, and quickly here, two more, three more, sorry. And spin around. Missed, next one. Quickly check over here. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So it took the oh God. It took the first one out, but it just didn't have time to reset and whatever it needed to do to get onto the next ones. I don't think that's really gonna be a big surprise for anyone. That's the whole idea of this multi-vector attack. It really fools the defenses. So now let's replace this guy with our Sky Guard system with four guns. And fast forward, I'll skip just doing one missile because I can tell you, spoiler alert, it definitely deals with one missile okay. So four missiles coming in, speed them up, trying to arrive at target at the same time, but there's going to be some slight fluctuations. In fact, let's just have a quick look around the system just to remind you what it looks like. That is the uh, search and track radar, which is 360 degrees, obviously. Data link to each gun unit, which is like that, each carrying five, uh, sorry, 252 35 by 228 mil rounds. Now, the important thing about the rounds is that they are programmable. They're intelligent. So as they come, if you remember, out of the barrel, there are programmers in the end section of the barrel there, which actually program each round or each volley or salvo of rounds rounds to detonate at a certain distance so that they fragment and create a shrapnel cloud perfectly in front of the target and that's why they're so effective why we found them so effective as compared to the non-programmable Gepard ammo that we had and the non-programmable CRAM ammo that is literally trying to hit it the target with each bullet this is not this is trying to program each round and explode the shells ahead of the target missile anyway i'm paused i'm not actually quite sure how we're going to watch this because this has four targets and there's going to be four things shooting at them if we try and determine which missile is ahead and maybe track that one so we can see that one there slightly ahead so that one's going to be detected first so let's go into our uh, sky guard gun unit here uh here we go no traces on these so there he is so we got one. Uh, let's just look out here. Any others coming in? Not yet. There's one. Top left gun. Fired. Back to map. There's another one. Top right. Firing. And where's the other one? Oh, other one coming in. Bottom left now. He's already firing. Really badly. No. How about that? Four taken down. That was actually pretty easy. Let's just run it again. I'm not quite sure how I'm supposed to film this so you can see everything happening at once. Right, this time let's just try watching from map view. So let's get those missiles out. So let's just follow these in to where they're on their terminal point. It's going to be out there. No, just a bit further. All right, and let's swap to map view. And one arriving top right. Shot down. One top left. Shot down, bottom left. Don't know why it's so hard to make them arrive at the same time. And bottom right. Hello, bottom right. Oh, bottom right's already been taken out. Uh, that was pretty rubbish as well. Let's try again. Try and find a different way of watching. Follow the missiles. Follow the missiles in. Uh, there's Bastion. Right, watch this. I'm going to try and watch from here, even though it's completely pointless. No, I've got a better idea. I'm just going to stick with the missiles and try and follow them in one by one and see what happens. I think this one's going to be further in. Ah, it's rubbish. Right, I'm going to find a better way of doing this, viewers. Welcome back, viewers. I have snuck into the Erlikan or Rhine Metal Factory and I've changed their gun so that they've now got tracers attached to their rounds. So let's see if this works. Bye bye. 
come, switch over to the camp. And what we should see if it works is all four guns firing in their quadrants controlled by just a single radar there with tracers. Or it just won't work. Or it will. One out, two out. Glorious. Three out. Is it done? I don't see any screws. Four out. Five out. Weird angles going on here, but they're helping each other out. Pause. I see what's going on. Because the missiles aren't coming in perfectly time on target, that one and that one have decided to overlap and hit this. And I think they actually overlapped and, and hit the same one there as well. So that's interesting, isn't it? Uh, I believe that's how the real one works as well. Uh, I presume that's all shot down. Uh, yep, all gone. Right, well, not the most visually spectacular uh, wargame viewers, but what you asked for was a more realistic representation of why a full battery of Skyguard might be used. And this is my idea here, sending in cruise missiles from all aspects, pre-positioning the guns to deal with those threats and then having them divide those targets up and, well, as you saw there, actually help each other's quadrant out if they think they need it. Um, I think that's the best thing I can show viewers. I hope that answers your comments from the previous video and I'll sign off there. Bye bye.